Hello, Taurus. How are we doing? I'm doing the what you need to know in the next 72 hour reading. If you do not follow me on IG, feel free to. I do motivational Monday messages. I also do um, Sunday week ahead readings. If you're looking for different content, full moon readings, new moon readings, divine feminine updates, I do that on Star Fight Through the Universe. Starting in April, I'm actually going to um, minus one of the next 72 hour readings and add a new segment, um, like a work week ahead reading. Instead of business as usual, it's uh, back to bullshit as usual. So the bullshit that basically you have to come into Monday morning. All right. So I think that's all I need to say. Under the deck, you have um, laws, laws, not justice and roads that are not fair. So you could be dealing with the Libra, but there's definitely something that it, it is an unfair situation that either you Taurus or somebody you know is dealing with. And they're starting to realize that it's such fucking nonsense. Yeah, you have such a curious dream. Grounding, returning to reality, coming home, and uncertainty under the deck. And we're all mad here upside down. Somebody doesn't want to be involved in anybody's madness anymore. There's been a lot of fights, a lot of arguments, a lot of one-upping each other. And um, Taurus, you're here to shut that shit down. You're here to shut that shit down. Um, a lot of you guys, Taurus, if you cry when you're angry and people mistake that as a weakness, they've got another thing coming. Because my best friend, my best friend, she's a Taurus moon, okay? She's a Leo Leo. But that girl, if she starts crying in anger, she she is a very, very destructive person. And this person doesn't realize that they're they're poking a sleeping bear and you're about to go ham on, on them. Because maybe some of you not all of you, um, have somebody that constantly puts their hands on you, that's going to come to a stop. That's going to come to a stop. Because either you, towards or somebody immediately around you is about to give somebody a piece of their own fucking medicine. Mm. Yeah, the Seven of Wands, the Sun... And the five of pentacles. Yeah, because you're drawing a, a new line in the sand. Because you're enlightened to your self-worth. And you're enlightened that this is not your happiness. And this person needs to be left out in the cold. Okay, you have the awakening under the deck. Yeah, because you're awakened to this to this issue now. That this isn't you. This is this, per this person. Like, with intuitive hits here. Coping mechanisms and soul growth. You realize that that's the way that this person... It's the way that this person reacts to everything that that's making it impossible for you to move forward with them. And that's why they have to be let out, left out in the cold. And either you, Taurus, or the person that you're directly um, dealing with is really coming to coming into that realization. You could be dealing with a Leo or another Taurus, but they cause you way too much anxiety. Like they're constantly putting you in the eight of swords and then you have to heal from it. So you know that you need to break away. Intuitively, you're being moved forward. You could be dealing with a, a Pisces or a Cancer, but you're not going to lead yourself into this self-sabotaging energy anymore. You refuse. Yeah, because you know that all it does is bring disappointment. Yeah, and what you really want to do is be in this king of pen king slash queen of pentacles energy because you're really all about your bag, Taurus. You're all about your bag. All you want to do is make some money, make some money for me for you, make some money for, for the community, and just keep it pushing. But this person's making it difficult. Yeah, some of you guys could be let's see, this is like the Queen of Pentacles to me, because I have like in this deck, in this mermaid deck specifically with myths and mermaids, I have like cards that are low vibrational. So instead of upside down, four, five, six, as I'm about to explain this, instead of upside down, I have cards.
cards that are low vibrational kings and queens and high vib I mean low vibrational queens um, knights and pages and high vibrational ones so this would be your high vibrational queen of pentacles because you see how she's a single mother right so you could be dealing with um you could have a true uh court pair here with the king and queen of pentacles like somebody is seeing you come into union um that the ancestors support here with the whale but with the queen of swords under the deck they they're they're trying to make sure that this doesn't come together but the more that they try, the more that the ancestors step in. I got friends in higher places. Yeah, with the moon card under the deck, you have all kind all kinds of goddess energy supporting you. Yeah, because all these people do is gossip and on about your wish fulfillment. And they're just so jealous and so appalled. Like, oh, what is she doing better than me? And it's like, I'm healing myself, bro. I isolate myself. You could be dealing with the Virgo. It's like, I keep away from low vibrational people like you. Yeah, to keep my heart pure. So I can work on my own wish fulfillment. And be strong. Yeah. Fuck these people, Taurus. This is your Taurus card right here, too. It's also the strength card, so Leo energy. But like I said, with the moon card still under the deck, you got friends in higher places. So I got friends on the other side. Could be, uh, Some of you guys could, um, could relate to New Orleans. Some of you could, some of you could relate to Alaska. Could be dealing with the Libra or a Scorpio or a Leo. Yeah, but you're being called to bring love into the situation because your commitment is being tested and you're being called to balance your spirituality and your practicality here. Um, in other words, you need to make you can't be making head over heart decisions. You need to listen to both. You could be dealing with the Pisces. But have faith in your dreams. Surrender to the divine. Because nothing will come in this situation until you do so. But the moment that you surrender your outcome, guess what? The end of a tough cycle approaches. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. All you got to do is release. All right, Taurus. That's what I got for you. I'll see you for the April reads. And then um, don't forget um, to check out. Back to bullshit as usual. Okay, bye.